Let's now practice some basic transformations. We have f of x equals x squared and g of x, which is a different function, equals f of x minus 4. What is the actual equation of g of x? We know that g of x is pretty much f of x, but it's minus 4. It's shifted down 4 units. What is f of x? Let's use substitution. It's this graph over here. It's a quadratic. So g of x is x squared minus 4. This is the actual equation. Now let's sketch this. We shift down 4 units. So the parabola used to look like this. But now that we're going down 4 units, it looks like this. And by the way, the x-intercepts are positive 2 and negative 2. Next, let's sketch this other function, h of x. This is our different y value. And the rule is that when we have a number beside x within the brackets, we have to think opposite. So normally when we think x minus 2, we think 2 left, but actually think opposite. So the number is outside, it behaves normally. Minus 4 means down 4, plus 4 means up 4. But when it's within, we think left or right. In this case, minus 2 refers to 2 to the right. 1, 2, because we're thinking opposite. So the parabola looks like this. It used to look like this, but it moved 2 units to the right. So the original graph had points 0, 0 and 1 comma 1 but the new graph because everything moved over now becomes 2 comma 0 and we only affect the x value we add 2 so this becomes 3 comma 1 so everything slides over point by point can you sketch y equals x squared plus 4 this number is on the outside so it's going to go up 4 units the y values behave normally. Now, how about this one here? Can you sketch y equals x plus 1 squared? This x value is within the brackets, so we have to think opposite. So instead of 1 right, we go actually 1 left. Negative 1 is here, and this is the graph. To convince yourself that this makes sense, why don't we substitute some values? So we know that if indeed this graph is correct, one left, let's plug in some values. We know this value should be 0, 1, because for a parabola, we go one unit right, one unit up. Let's try substituting negative 1. When we substitute negative 1 into x, we end up with y equals negative 1 plus 1 squared, which is essentially 0 squared, which is 0. In fact, we can even go 2 right, 4 up. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. And we have the point 1, 4. When x equals 1, y equals 1 plus 1 squared, which is 2 squared, which is also 4. So this appears to be correct. Now let's put it together. We have a horizontal shift as well as a vertical shift. This x value, the horizontal translation, refers to one unit to the left. And this vertical translation refers to three units down because it's negative. So how do we sketch this? From the origin, we go one left and one, two, three down. So this here is the parabola, approximately like this. If you really want to find the intercepts, we could. Let's find the y-intercept by setting x equals zero. So y equals 0 plus 1 squared minus 3. We have 1 squared is 1, minus 3 is minus 2. So this intercept is minus 2. By the way, for this parabola, the vertex, the coordinates of the vertex, is revealed by these numbers. We choose the opposite of this number, which is negative 1. And we choose the same value as this shift down, which is minus 3. So the vertex coordinates are 
negative 1 comma minus 3. So for this question here, we're asked to find the coordinates of the vertex when dealing with general variables, a and b. The vertex here is the opposite of this value, which is a. Negative a became a, positive a, comma, the same value as this, which is b. So the vertex is a and b.